Good evening, everyone. Welcome back to Cask 529. I'm Brian. And I'm Shauna. And we're back with another edition of What's in the Glen Wednesday. Okay, everybody, we're going to do our blind draw to kick things off for the evening. And we've got a the Wilson 16. Row 16. All right. So we know it came from Mike and Terry. Thank you, guys. Got it. Yep. All right. So as we all know, today is September 11th. And we would like to take everybody while Brian is pouring just to take a um, second of silence to remember those who fell and those who fought for our freedom. I think we should have asked Mike and Terry for like a couple ounces for this one. I think the ounce of it went on the, in so the bar top. You're so hard on me. <laughs> She's hard on me. Cheers. Cheers. Don't drink it yet. Not going to drink it. Sometimes she has to be reminded or she goes right to the taste. I get excited. Kind of sweet. I'm not getting a whole lot off of it. Really. It is sweet. However, a little bit of a finish on it. It's like a honey. Hmm. It's like a moldy green slash honey sweet finish. It has some caramel in it. Toffee. Definitely some toffee. Mm -hmm. oh, it's it's interesting. It's interesting. I'm anxious to see what this one is. Ready to taste ready? it? Are we ready? Cheers again. Cheers again. Very sweet. Super smooth. Get moldy grain. Um, like a cereal into like a super sweetness, then a super drying oak. Little bit of baking spice, getting a lot of caramel vanilla, but then a little bit of butterscotch. And then again, the tongue is just completely dry. What are you? It is dry. It is very, <laughs> it is actually very dry. Um, like it's so sweet and moist and juicy, yeah. and then it just goes. Let's take all the moisture out of your mouth. Yeah, it's kind of like the wine you like. <laughs> as far as that goes, except this has a lot more flavor than that. The nose is awesome. I I don't even have a clue what this could be. I don't even I get, know if I I've tasted anything a, like a this very before. Slight amount of, a very slight amount of char on the palate. one of the smoother ones we've had but yet still with some complexity to it oh it's full of flavor I mean there's flavors coming at me mm -hmm. and I'm trying to sit here and dissect them I, it is dry definitely dry it ends dry man when it when it finishes it's, it sucks all the moisture out of your mouth it's like if you uh, if you spill like uh, just a little doesn't taste anything like this, but it's like if you spill like some gasoline on concrete or something, it just, I mean, it just dries right up. And that's what this does. When it finishes, it just yep. gone. Again, I'm getting a lot of that cereal grain moldiness, a little cocoa on it. Um, definitely picked up a lot more of the cocoa this time. But then in the center, you're getting like the sweet vanillas and the caramels, but I'm also getting like more of a strawberry type note this time. Wow, I didn't get that. And then, it turns into a little bit of baking spice and then dry. <laughs> There's, it's full of flavor. Like you could sit there and 
I, I wish we had a little bit more of this and it wasn't on the counter. Um, I'm joking. <laughs> Very little of it went on the counter, Smarty. But, um, I feel like I get a little bit of your cherry in there, actually. I, I was trying to taste for that, but then I went more strawberry. It's what the taste I was getting. I, I, it seems to me to be more cherry than strawberry, but... I love that moldy cocoa. It's kind of nutty, um, really nutty before it turns into that, that sweetness, the caramel. A little bit reminds me of a Snickers bar. Um, like the middle, not when it first enters your palate, but right in the middle of it before it goes dry, it reminds me of a Snickers bar because you get that real sweet, nutty, caramel taste with the cocoa's just finishing and then it's, and then it goes dry. I love it. Yeah, I kind of, I can see kind of what you're saying. It is, it makes my mind, it's weird because it dries you up, but it also is making my mouth water when I, yeah, because I want more. Yeah. But I finished it, so there's no more to be had. Well, you can lick that spot of the bar right there. We dried it. Maybe Otherwise, I took a straw. <laughs> I, I don't know what this is. I'm going to definitely say it's a finished whiskey. Um, I don't think it's a rye. I would go with a finished bourbon, probably. I'm only going to go like 95 proof because there wasn't a whole lot of hug on it. I, I definitely want to say it's under 100. Yeah. But we're usually way off on that. And you know what? I'm going to go out there and say only because I really enjoy the High West, different versions, the finished ones from High West. I'm going to go out there and say maybe it's a High West, a finished wow. High West. I don't know. I'm not. I don't. I don't have any guesses on it, really. No. Mm. Not if it's a bourbon or a rye. It's a bourbon. I'm going to say it's definitely bourbon. It's not. I don't, I don't feel it's got anywhere near enough spice uh, to it to be a rye. Okay. Um, <clears throat> definitely under, definitely in my opinion, under 100 proof. Mm. I'm going 95. Um, man, I just don't know. No? I don't think we've ever had it. I don't think we've ever had it either. If we have this on the shelf, I am pouring me some more right now, but I don't think we do. I don't think so. But I'm hoping that Mike and Terry have some more. Well, and most of what Mike poured us, I think he had a pretty good idea what we had and didn't have. Oh, I can say that I don't think we've ever had this. I don't even, didn't even know they had this. Rabbit so, hole. Rabbit Hole Derringer, 93 proof. Pretty close on the proof point. Yeah. So I'm going to pull that up real quick, honestly, because I just want to know. Um, I just want to know if it is um, a finished. If it is a bourbon, if it's a rye, because I don't know. Give me a second. I have to enter my birthday to get in phone. there. She's old enough to be looking at alcohol. She's got to remember what her birthday is. Okay, so. It's really good, regardless. And so it's a straight bourbon whiskey finished in um, PX Sherry Cask. So it is definitely finished and it is a bourbon and it was 93 proof. So I'm, I'm pretty happy, you know, yeah. I guess it was finished 95 proof, a little bit off on the proof points, um, completely missed the distiller, but pretty happy with that. Yeah, that's it's not. I mean, you said it is finished. Yes. And how was? It, did you say how it was finished? It was finished. This says sherry, sherry cask. cask. Yeah. Yep. Okay. I didn't. I didn't hear the sherry cask part. Yeah. So, um, it does say it is a bit bitter, which I would say at the end with that drying, it is. Um, they said licorice, and I didn't really get licorice. Um, so, coriander, mint, oak spice, dark fruit, uh, menthol, roasted nuts. 
and plenty of oak. It, I, it was really good. So here in Ohio, that's a seventy-five dollar bottle. You buying it? Oh, yeah. If I if they if it's still available, I'm picking one of those up because that that was good. I really enjoyed it. Very, very, very good. He well, served I it for me. I can't tell you at the moment. It's all good. <laughs> So regardless, if it's available or not available, still hoping that Mike has some and will share a little bit more with me. <laughs> so if you haven't already, please, please take a moment to hit that like button, leave us a comment. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. That really would help us out. Sure would, we'd appreciate it. And I think that's all we have for tonight, right? That's all. Um, we'll be back a little bit later this evening. This is Wednesday night, yep. so we'll be back a little bit later with a live episode of Trivia. Yes. So um, that's all we have for right now, guys. Thanks for joining us. And until next time, be safe, everybody. Thanks, everyone.